Welcome to an introduction demo of Amazon FinSpace with Managed KDB Insights. In this demo, we will show three things. First, how to create and populate a managed KDB database. Then we will create a historical database cluster, also known as an HDB. And finally, we will query that HDB with PyKX from a JupyterLab notebook. To illustrate, let's start with our managed KDB insights environment and create a database welcome DB by calling create KX database, which will first start as empty. To populate it, we will take the data from our S3 bucket and call create KX chain set, adding that data to welcome DB. Next, we will create the HDB cluster by calling create KX cluster referencing the welcome DB. This creates an HDB cluster with three nodes, which will utilize a high performance cache to serve up the data of welcome DB. And last, we will query the data in the HDB from an external client using PyKX. From the environment homepage, under the databases tab, select create database. Here we will give the database a name and a description, welcome database, and create the database. Once the database is created, we can add data to it. So let's select the welcome DB database and select create chain set to add data to the database. Now for the chain set, enter the bucket location where we have staged our database data and create the chain set. As you can see now, the status of the chain set is created. And in a moment, it will change the success when it is completed. With the database created, now let's create a cluster. From the environment home page, under the clusters tab, select create cluster. Let's give the cluster a name, choose its type of historical database, keep it in a single AZ, and let's select the AZ, AZ1. Give it three nodes of type large. This is a small database. Next, we're going to deploy some code. We're going to identify the zip file on S3 and the name of an init script in that zip file called init.q. That script takes a couple command line arguments, secondary threads, and the name of the database to load welcome DB. Next, let's choose the VPC, mine is simple, the subnet, and the security group to use default in this case. Let's also choose the database to bring onto the cluster, welcome DB, and we're going to enable caching of this database, caching all of it using our high performance cache, cache 1000, and use the minimum size of 1200 gigabytes. Next, let's review all the options and create the cluster. With a cluster now running, let's use PyKX from a notebook to interact with it. I'll walk you through the code. First are some imports and variables like the cluster name. Then I'll use my credentials to initialize a Bodo session and a FinSpace client. And then using the FinSpace client, I will get a connection to the HDB cluster. And then using that HDB cluster connection, I'll query my example table for its schema. And then lastly, I'll perform a simple analytic query on the example table using the function SQ that is defined as part of the code bundle we deployed to the cluster. And that's it. As you can see, it's very simple to use any KDB client like PyKX to interact with a managed KDB insights cluster.